Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you need to calculate numbers on your computer, you use a spreadsheet. Hopefully you understood that, because if you've been using a word processor all this time, you've been wasting your time. Sometimes uh, you might use a spreadsheet to manage data, uh, you know, names and addresses and numbers and, you know, other data points. And sometimes people send these types of spreadsheets to you. And, uh, you know, maybe you have one of these spreadsheets on your computer and you're looking at it going, well, why didn't they put dashes in these phone numbers? Ah, it's crazy. I'm going to have to go through each one, uh, one, two, three, dash, one, two, three, dash, next line, one, two, three, dash. Well, oh, and it would take you forever. I mean, imagine if there were 500 records in a spreadsheet and it just was not done to your satisfaction. Or let's say it just wasn't done very well at all. And to have to go through, uh, you know, line by line or cell by cell and changing certain elements to get everything to be congruent mm -hmm. uh, can be even more of a time suck than calculating inside a word processor. So I want to tell you about this service that uh, I just found out about today. Cleanupdata.com. Cleanupdata.com. Dot com. Chris, move your phone. No, the problem is, is it's all the way over here, but my new microphone is so powerful. Look, I can like throw it halfway across the room and you're still going to hear it buzz. It's a very powerful mic. Anyway, back to the website, cleanupdata.com. You're in your spreadsheet application, select all, copy, paste here, and then it'll take you to, well, I'm going to just go to the sample data. It'll take you to a page much like this. And you have the opportunity, so long as you've got uh, similar data inside a column, let's say one column, we'll go back to the phone number analogy, one column is full of phone numbers. But the problem is, is that the person who created this app, or let's say, you know, however it was generated, dashes weren't inserted, or let's say you want parentheses around the area code for these phone numbers. You know, you'd have to go line by line by line. Now, you know, with a, a spreadsheet that has, you know, maybe seven rows, it's not a big deal, but imagine 700 or 7,000. Suddenly it's not scalable on your time. It's not that easy to do. It's not just as simple as doing a, a, a search and replace. Uh, so this is where uh, uh, the, uh, the well, they have magic replace in the, the header uh, for uh, cleanupdata.com, and that is pretty much what it is. If you run through the video demo, it explains it even further. Essentially, you can change just one cell, and then it will figure out how you want to change the other cells in that column and potentially even removing a column. If you move this data from this cell to this cell, it'll figure it out and say, oh, you want to move all the data from this particular column over here. That leaves this column blank, so let's get rid of that. It's very, very impressive. If you work with spreadsheets and you've ever run into this particular problem, again, that a simple find and replace isn't going to solve, you want to check this out, cleanupdata.com. It's just for spreadsheets, not only for numbers, I mean data. I mean, you can move, uh, you know, alphanumeric characters. In fact, you can go through and decide to, uh, you know, ca uh, turn certain fields into just all caps or lowercase. You can, just trust me, it'll freak you out. If you walk through the video demo, I I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to go and create your own spreadsheet just to see it work here on cleanupdata.com. And it's free, easy, don't need to register or anything. <laughs> That's all it takes. Uh, so I, I was happy to pass this along because I know I've run into this problem before and I have to remember that this exists. So if I forget, then I'll ask the chat room to remind me because you do that oh so well. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of another fantastic resource possibly based on the web um, you know, so that everybody can use it, and especially if you don't have to register. I love that. Just jump right in, do your thing, and then you're, then you're done. That's all you need. Love those web-based tools. Love them, love them, love them. Keep them coming. And you're also welcome to uh, stop by our community website, which of course is at geeks.perillo.com. Many things you can do there. Calculating numbers, probably not our forte. You could do it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it on geeks.perillo.com. I would recommend coming there, posting videos, embedding your YouTube videos, uploading your audio files, uh, you know, photos that you've taken, maybe wallpapers you've created, whatever. I mean, if it's geeky, you're welcome to stop by. And you're also welcome to, to come by our chat room, which is a part of the live video feed that you're watching right now. Well, you're watching a recorded version of what I was recording live. You could have been a part of it. You could have, you, right there. I know, you're watching me on your screen, you're watching me on your iPhone or whatever. Maybe you're watching me on your PSP. Heck, maybe you're even watching me on a Zoom. I think I've got like three Zoom subscribers, which is kind of strange because I think there's only three Zoom users in this entire 
Galaxy. And I have them all subscribed to me, all three. It's cool. Um, you are not watching it live, but you could have been part of this particular recording if only you had been here when I recorded it. So maybe you can stop by and say hello in the meantime for the next video recording or during the next one. All you got to do is open your web browser and head over to live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.